can be connected with the latest digital gadgets like NX5 and 3. Fantastic, isn't it? I would say that NX5 and 3 reach the past and present cutting-edge technology. Of course, this is not only for old lenses. Vast amount of lenses currently in the market can be connected with our NX5 and 3, which shows a huge expansion possibility for the E-mount. Let me explain why is this is happening. Comparing with other cameras in the same category, our E-mount cameras have the shortest flange back and thus the thinnest body. This makes it easier for third parties to develop adapters necessary for a wide variety of lenses to be connected to the camera. Like you know, thin body gives more flexibility for focal length adjustment. Not only that, the large size of APS-C sensor allows for greater picture quality. I'll give you a one uh, hint. The E mount, the character E stands for 18, meaning the 18 millimeter focal length. As a result, there are quite a few third-party attachment and adapters I, uh, available for E mount, and we believe the number will increase. This is not what we had extended before launching the NX5 and 3, but it's very important and very thrilling movement that is taking place in the market. We think this is this as a new opportunity for Sony, as well as for various companies who are willing, willing to take advantage of this trend. It is far more ensuring to collaborate with like-minded companies rather than going alone. And uh, we, would, we would like to inform you that Sony is considering working with various potential partners who intend to develop E-mount compatible adapters and lenses, which paves the way, to, way for further growth of the E-mount system. Though we do not disclose further details at present, we would like to inform those who are interested of more specific conditions in due course. Just to summarize, we would like to grow our A-mount business with uh, evolution of the translucent mirror technology and extended E-mount business by reinforcing lenses, accessories, and realizing exciting features, uh, contributing to prosperity of the photographic industry and the photographic culture. Thank you for your attention. Hello again. I'm very happy to be here again in Europe. Uh, maybe I met some of you in Croatia when uh, the NEX uh, press conference uh, there. And then the, usually I give you some Japanese lessons, but today maybe uh, I would like to uh, talk about the, the story of NEX and Alpha 55 very shortly. The, the two years ago, uh, the Fotokina uh, was held here. And then the, it was uh, just uh, uh, one month after Alpha 900 launched. And then the, 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 as a Sony, Alpha, uh, the first round was completed by the, the Alpha 900, uh, starting from uh, Alpha 100. So uh, those days, uh, we actually uh, thought what kind of camera we should make for the future. And the first one was NEX. The, as uh, Imamura san said, the E mount E is 18, the back length. And NEX itself is a new E mount experience. Uh, that stands for e mount uh, experience. And then the, actually, the, the two years ago, we have uh, actually drawn the, the one sketch for the future cameras. It was very different from today's NEX, but it was very small. Anyway. And then the, the cyber shot and Handicam Alpha team gathered together around the maybe 20 people or so, engineers. 
and then they started to make any X from just uh, the sketch of those days. And then the, from those days, we had only sketch, but the, the, our boss, uh, the former boss was Ishizuka-san, uh, decided to launch this NEX by 10th of June 2010, from the beginning. So the, uh, actually, the, our engineer worked very hard, and they introduced 3rd of June 2010, actually. So uh, I'm very happy uh, about the, the, the success of NEX today. And then the, at the same time, actually, the, our other engineer uh, dream about the, the very happy the speed of the old focus, actually accuracy of old focus, and also the movie with old focus. And then the, we realized if we have a translucent mirror, then uh, we can do it. So actually, the, we started from the scratch. We didn't have anything about the translucent mirror technology in those days, but they started from just the, uh, the material of translucent. Mira, what is translucent? They started from the scratch, but at the same time, they achieved today the Alpha 55. I'm very proud of our engineers' uh, effort to achieve these uh, the cameras. So today, uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, to how say, share with you the success of Alpha 55 and MEX 5M3. And then I would like to a uh, little bit more to talk about the, the what the next for the Alpha business. Okay, so the official presentation starts from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the uh, first about the L1 system evolution. Let me read through this translucent mirror. Right? Uh, we have developed the translucent mirror technology and incorporated in the uh, Alpha 55 and Alpha 33 for the first time reactions from customers, dealers. Of course, media have been far better than we had expected, and we feel confident that this technology will innovate our A1 cameras for the future. Based on these uh, initial feedback and our own study, we have decided to utilize this unique technology for the advanced model of our A1 camera. And core devices development 